<laughs> All right, guys, you asked for it. Seven Tiger Ps versus Seven Tiger Ones Ultimate Showdown. So honestly, there are some there are some quite interesting things about these two different types of tanks. Is the differences between them? They have the exact same cannon in terms of DPM, penetration, accuracy. They do differ, however, in terms of gun um, depression. The Tiger one actually has one more degree of gun depression at seven compared to six. The Tiger P does have more frontal armor. However, the Tiger one is much more maneuverable. Now, I'm playing the Tiger P because <laughs> I personally like the Tiger one a lot more, just because not only is it just much more of an iconic tank that was used uh, during the war, but um, it's also got much better maneuverability. <laughs> and for me, I really like having more maneuverability than more armor, just in my personal preference and opinion. Now the other differences about these tanks is the Tiger P actually has better view range than the Tiger I, um, which is quite interesting when diving into the stats. So already right off the bat, we were able to spot these Tiger Ones before the Tiger Ones were um, able to spot the Tiger Ps. So trying to get myself in a little bit more of an aggressive position here and starting to move up. I want to be a little bit more on the front lines and be able to get some shots off. Just help my team. And i trying to get myself in a... Okay, I'm taking hits. I know they're a little bit further back and I'm trying to just get some eyes. <laughs> we don't have any medium or light tanks, obviously, to do any spotting. But I'm, I'm able to spot a lot of these Tigers. I'm trying to get myself in a position to help my team so that they can just rain down the fire. We can have visibility, of course. <laughs> I'm starting to think this is not a very good position to be in. Um, trying to be as cautious as possible. The other thing about the Tiger P that is more of a disadvantage is the Kapol on top um, is bigger than the Tiger Ones. Tiger Ones is actually very difficult, almost not even there. Tiger P has a much bigger one. And yeah, I definitely put, did not put myself in a very good position there. So let's just see what else we can do here. Um, there's uh, two Tiger P's down and one Tiger one down. So just the first round, gonna do best out of three, just to see which one in a seven versus seven showdown would win. So looks like they're all kind of peeking around, just being very careful over on the hills. The thing that's dangerous about the Tiger P, and it just comes down with that cupola as well, is when you're cresting a ridge, coming up just over a hill a little bit, trying to just use a little bit of that gun depression you may have, the Tiger One can take shots off that cupola and end up just wrecking you. <laughs> and with how accurate the German Tiger I is, it's quite lethal against the Tiger P. So honestly, quite an interesting showdown. I had quite a few subscribers ask for this. Um, just wanna thank all my subscribers who had helped with this. Thank you so much. So the thing about the Tiger P is when coming out in front, you wanna try angling that hole as much as you can. And it looks like, so the score is even. So the Tiger ones are down three, the Tiger P's are down three. It's an equal, equal four versus four. So let's see who's gonna come out on top. It still looks like this is gonna be a pretty close match. Honestly, this is probably, I mean, so far in compared to the ultimate showdowns I've done, if you haven't seen any of those, uh, go and watch them. This is by far, so far, the closest um, that it really, really has been. Some have just been um, just an absolute wash with some of them, but this one's actually quite interesting and quite close. I personally do like both these tanks. I think they're both good, very capable tanks. They do have their own pros and cons about each one of them, and it looks like the Tiger ones are falling. Honestly, that is quite surprising, but we'll see what happens in the next two games. 
So one tiger, one left. Can he hold off three tiger peas? We'll see what happens here. He in a, a bad spot. Can he do something? Gets a hit. It's all hit. Oh, the tiger one is down. So tiger peas took the first match. A uh, great job. And uh, now we're gonna go in and trying to see what happens during match two. So once again, going seven versus seven, seven tiger peas versus seven tiger ones. So with the tiger one having more maneuverability and just being quicker, you can get to positions much quicker, faster, which is very, very helpful. Um, however, with it being so boxy and flat with that hole and just body in general, side scraping can be a little challenging. You can expose some of those flat plates. It is quite easy to do so, getting penetrated. <laughs> I just got a very unfortunate shot there, but luckily was able to bounce. Now this is a position I definitely don't want to be in with the Tiger P because I'm trying to crest over a hill to get shots. and. The Tigers, as I was mentioning earlier, have a shot um, on the Tiger Peas Capolas here, putting us in a really, really bad spot. And they have an extra degree of gun depression, so I'm gonna try pushing and going around here on the other side. Let's just see what we can do. Open to see if we can just get in a better position, because that is just not a good position to be in. So. He's pretty well protected, and if he pops out, I'm only going to see his turret, and there's not really a whole lot to shoot there. That gun mantlet is very strong on the Tiger 1. So I'm going to try following these guys here. Hopefully we can get a push in soon and close in on some of these other Tiger 1s. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go in. <laughs> Sorry. Pushing my teammates. Excellent. Let's get a shot off. Oh, no. I took out my, my, own, my own friend's cannon. I'm a traitor. And, oh, of course, RNG is not on my side. Some, a couple, ter oof, terrible misses here. Trying to do a quick push. Get myself up to a better, uh, oh, lucky. Get a good bounce there. Trying to see if we can help some of these. Oh, and they're running, and it looks like they're swarming the other side. I'm gonna try to come in here and help as fast as I can. And okay, hit that adrenaline. And try to move up. Let's see if we can get rid of this tiger here real quick. Looks like we're the tiger peas are down two. The tiger is down one. The tiger only down one tank looks like. We took out one of theirs, but they took out another one of ours. So there's four Tiger Ps left versus five Tiger Ones. Let's just see what we can do here. This is what I mean by just when I come out frontally, the whole armor is fairly strong um, and very well built. And that is actually makes this thing quite excellent for that, where the Tiger One doesn't quite have the armor to do that. Um, so the fact this thing has a frontally mounted turret and pretty good frontal armor does give that the edge just a little bit, um, just giving it that advantage. So let's see if we can get rid of this guy real quick. Beautiful, is able to bounce that shot. Okay, the score is even. Two Tiger Ps versus two Tiger Ones, and this guy knows what he is doing. Oh, oh, I choked on that shot. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, shoot. Very, very good move by that Tiger 1. That is one of those examples of maneuverability just being excellent to use. And it looks like the Tiger 1s have taken the second match. So the score is even. One for the Tiger Ps, one for the, the Tiger 1s. And now for the final match to see who is going to be the tiebreaker. I'm gonna go in and we, we had a couple spectators. It actually looked like we had nine Tiger Ps there. That would have been quite epic. So I'm gonna push over here, just see what we can do. And 
just trying to get to a position not only to support our team just okay so it looks like we've spotted one of the all right so it looks like we're all kind of going in the same direction here some of our our tiger peas have been spotted we're closing in Let's see who's going to take the first shot here okay looks like i'm not seeing one that's quite got hit yet and that's actually an excellent position for those tiger ones because their gut antlets are the only thing really exposed from that spot and can't quite penetrate that so they're actually in a really really good spot here let's just see i'm gonna go ahead and just push can we get a shot in as we're crossing no 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 oh we took a hit but you need to get in a much more effective position i really can't do anything from there beautiful bounce i was able to get a shot right into that tiger one to see what we can do here excellent and unfortunately i was not able to bounce that shot okay i think we can do this oh i don't want to be trading um trading hit points beautiful i was able to get that bounce there trying to angle my hole as much as i can Excellent, continuing to bounce, angle that frontal armor. And I think I have, beautiful. This is exactly how you wanna play the Tiger P. So we're putting him in a pretty, oh, missed that shot. Looks like our Tiger P took a hit. I'm trying to help them out as much as I can. Dang it, wasn't able to quite bounce that one. I'm gonna try pushing up a little bit more. <laughs> taking quite a bit of shots here and I think we can take out beautiful able to take out one of the tigers so one of the tiger ones are down tiger peas looking good still with all teammates now this is where we can get in a bit of trouble because I'm having to try to come up here on this slope and this is really kind of putting me in a bad spot and the tiger one could take shots off my capola Smart of him to kind of back up and get behind cover. Also, putting us, dang, took another hit. Putting us in a little bit of a bad spot just because in this area, that gun depression, not to mention I don't quite have a shot off that Tiger 1. Back up, back up, back up. <laughs> I can, I cannot take a hit. So, Let's see. All right, there's a Tiger one that looks like he's pushing up right over on our right-hand side. All right, teammates helping me. It looks like that held him off. Got to be very conscientious, aware of my surroundings. Beautiful. So two Tiger ones are down. Tiger peas are still looking pretty good. I'm trying to see just what we can do here. If he, oh not able to get that shot tiger peas are down two tiger ones are down three i am not <laughs> good spot wow a bounce on one hit point left can i survive this is pretty intense come on, come on. oh and i was taken out so the score is five versus five three on each side are down looks like the tiger, oh, K scores even three Tiger P's versus, well, <laughs> scores changing quite quickly. Now there's two Tiger 1's left versus three Tiger P's. <laughs> and what a fall. Epic little, uh, epic entrance from the Tiger 1 come down to take on the Tiger P. So... Let's just see what happens here. This is gonna, this is honestly a very close match. This is the closest ultimate showdown that I have I've done yet. So wow, very very interesting. Okay, two tiger peas left. I think we can we can do this, but oh Okay, down to the last two. One Tiger P versus one Tiger 1. Who's going to take home the cup in the ultimate showdown? 
And he's got an angle. He's got to kind of turn around. All right, just kind of fast forwarded here. And is anyone going to be able to do it? Unfortunately, no. Ran out of time, making it a draw. I honestly, personally think both these tanks are just as equally good. Um, I personally like the Tiger one a little bit more because of its maneuverability, that extra gun depression. However, the Tiger P does have that better frontal armor. Let me know what you guys uh, think and which one you like more. This is the Muffin here. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.